Yes. Yeah, go ahead. I want to testify today for the gift of life, for how Jesus, Lord Jesus has blessed me with. It was on Tuesday midnight. I was unwell due to the bad weather. I had a fever and I woke up and took a tablet and went to sleep till nine o'clock in the morning. I was, I was a bit okay with heaviness in my head and throat infection. So we rushed to the doctor's clinic. The doctor checked my pressure. Everything was fine. Nothing serious. After returning from the clinic, I had my breakfast and took all the medication as the doctor had recommended me with a break in between the two med medicines. But immediately after that, my state was in such a mess I did not know what and what was happening to me. I felt very uneasy and I was restless. I started rolling on my bed continuously with all heaviness in my head and stomach pain. I called out, I called the doctor. He asked me exactly what, how I had taken the medication. Then I told him, he asked me to eat something and drink water. I just could not intake anything, neither solid nor liquid food. Just two words came out of my lips were my Jesus and my husband's name. And continually I was rolling and I was still aware but of everything what was happening around me. The whole house was in a turmoil. One side, mommy was urinating and calling out to Newton. Other side, I was calling him out. And then again, I called the doctor. This time, he said that you have to get admitted in the hospital and you have chest pain, then take ECG. I said, no, I had no chest pain. I'm only feeling uneasy and restless. Then I spoke to my Jesus in my mind. I said, Lord, this is not possible. With just a fever, how can anybody get admitted to the hospital? Again, I called out to Newton and cried to pray for him. Third time, the doctor called as he, as he had left his clinic on the way back home without carrying any med medical instrument. He came to my house directly. I was in the living room. Lying down on, lying down from the door only he saw me. He looked at me, at my condition, and he was so confused that he did not know what to advise me. He said that with my medication, with my medication, this will not become. Give her to drinks warm water, and he said, give her salt water. Tell her to put finger in her mouth and vomit out everything. At last, he said, she needs to rest, to sleep sometime. Give, uh, give her the pills which mommy takes for sleeping and let her sleep. Then she will feel better. I was, I had also a lump like catch on my on the calf and holding my leg. I only was saying, Jesus, Jesus, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., I was feeling uneasy, rolling. Then Newton called out to Brother Lawrence for prayers. Praise the Lord, Brother Vivek. Praise Hello. Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was like, you know, Brother, we were in the boat and there's a storm and the wind. Yeah. And uh, I was in such a, I tried my best praying and praying, nothing's happened, just praying. And I called uh, Brother Lawrence. Brother Lawrence, are you on the group? I don't think so. Hello? Yeah. And then uh, he gave me a prayer, brother. Can I read that prayer? What he said for to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah of course. Uh, brother Lawrence, when I called you, I gave up your phone to my wife. What she said that time when I wanted to learn. Uh, hi. Praise the Lord, brother. Where are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yes. in, uh, we, we went for a funeral. Nah? We went, well, yeah. we went to the funeral. When I went, it was already 2 30, and I, was, I just slept. And uh, after after waking from sleeping, I, I saw his uh, the, 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 the call in 2 30. 
and uh, I. Yeah. Yeah, Newton, you can go ahead. Yeah, and brother, he gave me a prayer to say. He said, say this prayer. It was prayer, Lord Jesus, yes. all my life, I said the Bible is a book. But yes. according to John 1.14, the Bible says, the word made flesh and dwelled among us. Correct. There is yes. a Bible in my hand, and my mind says it is a book, and my heart says it is the word of God. That is flesh. So, Lord Jesus, I choose to believe and agree, not with my senses, but with my heart, that it's your flesh. In the Bible, we read, the woman had a... Ah, then, he, then I told him, just to write it down, so he wrote down the prayer. Brother, yes, prayer, yes. Read yeah, yeah, he's reading. Uh, Lawrence, uh, let him read the prayer, so everybody can listen. Yeah, go ahead. You didn't go ahead. The read. Bible, you read the woman had a bleeding problem. She touched... Your garment and power went to her. But Lord Jesus, I am not touching your garment, but I am touching you. Jesus, your power flowing into my body. Lord Jesus, I am touching your flesh and your power flowing into my body and heal my body, Lord Jesus. I am touching your body and your power flowing through my body. My is bringing healing in her. And, yes. and Brother Lawrence said for me, Newton, continue saying this for 20 minutes. I just started for one, two, and the third time I said this prayer, she received a mighty healing and it was looking like that she was, that nothing had happened to her. She was all normal. And this powerful prayer of the Lord, the anointing came and she was healed. And uh, then immediately after I vomited all, a lot of cold and cuffed and felt relief. I had my food and I thank my Lord Jesus who gave me the strength to overcome all this and I'm healed and fit and fine. All glory and praise to my Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Newton, you, you write that prayer and send it on the WhatsApp group, okay, for everybody. Okay? I'll send it, brother. I'll send it on the group. Yeah, yeah, write it and send for everyone, okay? Praise God. Okay. And one, wonderful testimony. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Praise, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Who's next now? Praise God. Praise yes. God. Yeah, Thank Lord. you, Holy Spirit, for this anointed group. Thank you for this amazing testimony. And... Um, as Brother Russell said this morning, we call on the name of our Father to open our eyes, ears, and hearts, that we're able to hear God clearly, and we ask for obedience to His Word. Thank you, Brother Russell, in the Morning Tongues group. Yes. And uh, thank you, Brother, for encouraging us to read the book of Proverbs, a chapter a day. I look yes. forward to that time every day, and well, I even read God. different translations and I encourage everyone to read the book of Proverbs. And uh, the Holy Spirit has even been reminding me of areas that I need to look at in my life. And it usually involves repentance. So it's been very powerful for me. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, brother. And I even use Proverbs 3, 1 and 2 in a testimony that I'm sharing today. And it says, my child, do not forget my teaching. But let your heart keep my commandments for length of days and years of life and abundant welfare they will give you. The scripture I gave to a senior citizen lady who had fear and unbelief after her son was involved in a motorcycle accident. <clears throat> and uh, the enemy tried to plant a thought in my mind that this verse had nothing to do with her situation. But I ignored it because... As I was reflecting on this uh, daily reading of the Proverbs, the Holy Spirit reminded me of this lady. And so I sent it to her and also to declare it on her rosary beads. And praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. After only two days, I noticed that her conversations to me had changed. And she was no longer speaking fearful words, but was thanking God for his mercy and grace. And even her son's health improved. Praise God. Thank Praise you, Holy God. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And I've got another testimony. 
of a lady that was suffering depression due to a family situation. And I gave her Isaiah 61 3, which yes. is the good news of deliverance verse, yes. where God gives us a crown of beauty instead of ashes, and the oil of joy instead of mourning, garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. Yes. And I also sent Romans 8:28. Yes. All things God works for the good of those who love him. And Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I also to declare as often as possible and to listen to praise and worship music. And after a few days, she said she was feeling much better and was filled with hope again. So praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Thank Spirit. you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank brother. You. God Thank bless you. God bless you. your ministry. God and your ministry you. too. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Vivek Emmanuel, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Thank you. Jesus. I'd like to praise and thank God for putting a hedge of protection around my family my extended family, the Brisbane Prayer Group, all the prayer warriors and their families, and keeping all of us safe. And I thank God for yet another week of safety and peace in our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Vivek, this is Ernie. I just had yeah. to thank yeah. Just like to thank the Holy Spirit all, all the time that um, uh, that makes you now so like a, a, a become kind of like aware all the time that so as you grow in the Word of God and what your kind of level is, uh, I like to think that uh, every time you speak of Him aloud, even is a is a novel, another level. Now, just before I came here, I just I come in here about fifteen minutes. A bit late, but during the time there, I was at, uh, I just been to Rochdale and stuff like that. So I just been to over after work to see one of my uh, family, one of my friends of the family, just to, because their parents passed away and they seemed to be sort of like, I was a little bit uh, uh, concerned because they, I thought they were like suffering, you know, a lot from because their parents passed away. but. I was, I was happy I went to see him and stuff like that. And just before I came home, just got, got to give him a few um, uh, word of, about, you know, the word of God and stuff like that and the healing prayers and stuff like that. So I got him a little bit um, up to sort of date and what we do in the, and how to uh, say the prayers and all that stuff. So I was happy with that kind of every time I sort of like uh, anything to do with God and stuff like that, I liked it. Thank the Holy Spirit sort of making me so sort of like speak it and just get the word out and um, share it amongst others and stuff like that to speak it out aloud and not to be silent. So I think uh, the Holy Spirit and Jesus and the people here all today. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I just want to share one thing. Last week we did a teaching on the book of uh, wisdom. Okay, and I think that James one five I want to share is such a powerful scripture. Uh, you may have any situation in your life. First thing in the scripture, remember what we do every Friday is break a scripture down to small, very small, small pieces so that each of us can, even a child can take it and understand every piece of it, and. One thing I, I really, I was praying, I said, Lord, I lack wisdom because the first condition there was to, there was no condition in that scripture, but when we broke it down, we had to take one part and one piece at a time. He said, Lord, if I lack wisdom in a particular area, I just pray to the Lord and I said, Lord, I lack wisdom in this area because in my profession of sales, 
it's all about going out and prospecting because you don't get a client till you go out and meet the client or make a contact with the client. And I was like, where do I go? How do I start? Where do I do things? And at that time, I realized the moment confusion comes in, I'm lacking wisdom. So the first thing is to say, Lord, I lack wisdom. And then you immediately remember James 1.5, what, what he says is, if any of you lack wisdom, ask the father. So I went and said, Heavenly Father, I lack wisdom. But your word says in James 1.5, in this area of my life, I lack wisdom. But you will bless me unconditionally and in full measure. And I receive. Because when you say, when you ask, you receive. You don't have to ask him and say, please give it to me. Because when you ask, he gives. And that's his measure. And you have already given me a full measure of wisdom in this area of my life. And now I operate in faith. And I move and I know what to do. And from that onwards, I felt there was such a power that was within me that I was so, so decided, like as if I knew everything, as if everything was clear and crystal clear in front of me. I urge every one of you, if you lack wisdom in any area, if there's some area of your life, suppose you're fighting with your spouse or fighting with someone and you know now you lack wisdom here, there's something that you can't get out of. Immediately acknowledge that fact and say, Lord, I lack wisdom in this area. You fill me with your wisdom because your word says that. And I receive your wisdom, ungrudging your vision, ungrudgingly in full measure. And now I'm confident because I have your wisdom, because I operate under your wisdom. And see things suddenly change because that is really powerful. It's, it's a scripture which has really helped me in the last week. I used it the way I taught it. And really God has been using me uh, mightily in that area. And I just want to bless you guys also with the same thing because I'm using it. It's working. As I said, every time when we learn something, let's apply it and see whether it works. And I know the word of God is alive and active. So God is real and we serve a living God. So it has to work. So I knew that. So, yeah, I want to give glory and praise to the Lord, to the Father, to Jesus and the Holy Spirit who is always with me all the time. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah, anyone else who would like to testify? So let's not stop and be shy. Even if you can open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. I promise you, God's grace will and his uh, grace. Do you know what is grace? Unmerited favor will come upon your life and your family. Just because you said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I'd like to thank the Lord for all the little challenges which I come across in my life. And God has given me the wisdom to understand that these are not challenges anymore. They are just tests which take me higher and higher to the in the spirituality level. Yes. Absolutely. So thank you, Lord, for this wisdom, which otherwise I would have been so frustrated. But now I take it in the other way and I feel happy that I'm getting these tests. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Is the Lord Vivek? Yeah. Yeah, Jenny. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so, Vivek, I'd like to give uh, a testimony. Uh, this happened last uh, Saturday when uh, we'd gone out for a family, uh, you know, outing uh, to Lonavla, which is a hill station close to Mumbai. And uh, uh, so, you know, it was it was a very beautiful weather and, uh, you know, it was raining and everyone, uh, you know, all our friends and family, all of us were really enjoying the, you know, the, the weather, the atmosphere. And, um, you know, my, my dad uh, just decided to take a wash you know because uh, it was raining and everything was like uh, uh, wet and you know he was just wanted to get fresh so he went uh, for a shower and uh, he slipped in the bathroom you know it was like the soapy water and he slipped my dad is 73 years old and he has this condition of uh, diabetes as well and high blood pressure so uh, I praise and thank God that even though he fell uh, he did not get any severe or serious injury he just got a bruise on his lips, his you know the inner lip, and uh, no head injury, no joint, no muscle, no uh, you know nothing absolutely, no bone, nothing was affected. Yes, I praise and I thank God that His precious blood was over my dad, yes. and you know He protected him and He kept him safe. And I believe that his lip wound is already healed, and yes, he's back you, to normal again. Thank and uh, I praise and thank God for this. I just would like to, I just, uh, you know, uh, would like to see this one scripture which yes. brought me back. Please, to, please, you know, always share your scripture because that's what will help other people. Uh, 
Please. Yes, yes. That's Psalm 94, 18. Thank you, Jesus, that when my foot slips, you support me with your love. This was such a powerful scripture that, you know, after I came back home and I was going through some of these scriptures, I realized that this is, this is what, you know, the Lord is. Even, even if we fall, you know, even if we falter in life, you know, he's always there to support us. And uh, my mom and dad, you know, uh, Vivek, from the very beginning, whichever place they visit, you know, all over the world, after their retirement, they've done this world tour. Every place, be it in India or abroad, they have never missed their rosary. You know, so they yes. say the rosary every day. And even on that day when my dad fell, everything was normal. In the evening, we sat back to say the rosary. So yes. I praise and thank God that he's given us this devotion to, you know, our dear mother, yes. who is a powerful protector and yes, who correct. also, you know, intercedes for us constantly. Yes. I praise and thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We have rosary every day for people who do not know. So we have the... Uh, rosary at 7 o'clock in the evening, uh, Australian Eastern Sunday time. Uh, and yes, so please do join in. And uh, yeah, we have even the Divine Mercy and the Rosary. So please join in. It's Monday to Friday at uh, 7 p.m. And uh, that's uh, Brisbane time. And on Friday, it's at 3 p.m. Brisbane time. So thank you, Jesus. Yeah, who's next? Vivika, we'd just like to praise and thank the Lord this week I had an epidural spinal injection for pain yes, yes. and I would yes. like to just praise and thank the Lord for the relief in pain and I, after the injection um, and when I was turned over and laying on my back and I had that time alone just to praise and thank the Lord and to thank the angels and he showed me that there was actually hundreds of angels surrounding me Legions. So all glory and praise to Jesus and all the angels. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, who else would like to rest again? Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. That's Vivek, good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, TC, go ahead. I just want to praise and thank Jesus for all the mighty healing and whatever um, he has showered on me, uh, helping me to get through um, at my workplace. Um, when I, you know, at times you get compared, compared to some other workers. Um, at the one time, I was feeling so denied by them saying like, well, when you, when you get compared to another person, um, the voice spoke to me at that time saying, um, you are my child, do not be afraid. Um, so I kept on saying that uh, I'm not bothered, you can compare me, but then I am the child of God. So yes. the thing which went through my head all the time and yes. as you mentioned, brother, you were asking us to read Proverbs um, every day. Um, from that time, I've been reading. And I came through Proverbs uh, 7 chapter. And I couldn't, unbelievable, I found this, like, keep my commandments and live. Keep my teachings as the apple of your eye. And this is exactly what I felt like when I was getting compared. And I thought the Lord is really telling me that you are the apple of my eye and you don't have to fear anything. You just move forward and do whatever you can. And I kept on doing my best and praise God. I was able to make them say that, you know, you have done a good job. And I praise and thank Jesus. I praise you. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding me uh, and keeping me in that spiritual realm all the time, not with any fear, but with a lot of courage. 
Happy birthday. I again had to share this. I was saying to the rosary um, uh, as every Thursday, I would say the rosary. And that one day, no one could hear me. And I had to really take someone's help and said, okay, can you uh, just take over the rosary because my laptop is playing up. I can't do anything. For the two days, I couldn't um, get over this because this is the first time and it, it wandered in my head. Maybe I won't be able to say this rosary again because my laptop is not working. Just mm. because you have been telling about praying with scriptures, brother, I just did the scripture of, from Acts that God did. Uh, this is Acts 19, uh, 11 verse. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken yes. to the sick and their illness were cured and evil yes. spirits left them. And yes. same way, I just said, I command in the name of the Lord for all yes. the evil spirit to run away from this laptop. And I want to say this rosary because it's yes. my desire. And I cannot uh, believe it. Like, you know, it started to work back again. And I started saying the rosary back again. Praise Amen. and thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. I also thank Brother Russell for the morning praying in chunks, which yes. leads me every day I go to bed and keep uh, hearing this prayer. And by the time he ends up, I reach my workplace and I'm truly covered with all of those blessings which I received that morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. and all the members of the prayer group. Thank you, Jesus. We are one, one big family and we pray for each other. Remember, the prayer, everyone is the same. There's no one greater than the other. We operate in humility and that's the reason why this prayer group continues because it's the Holy Spirit Brisbane prayer group. It's, it's started by the Holy Spirit and he is the one who runs it. So let's always pray for one another and you know support each other. That's what the Lord wants from our lives. Thank you, Desi. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, anyone else? More than testimonies, can you testify what the Lord is doing in your life? How you're feeling? How is the change after reading God's word? How many of you reading the book of Proverbs? Uh, if the Holy Spirit has started prompting you to read one chapter a day, and if you have started it, what is the change? Is there some change in your life? Can you share and bless somebody else? So that someone who has not started Proverbs may start because of your testimony today and their lives be blessed. Remember, we are called to be a blessing in other people's life, not just to take a blessing, but to pass the blessing on. So if the Lord is speaking to you, let's share it with someone and give glory to God because it is His word. He is the flesh. He is the word is flesh. And that's the word we are talking about. So yeah, can someone share how the word of God is touching your life? What is the Holy Spirit doing for you? Is he talking to you? Is he, he's, how is that wonderful life? Hello, Vivek. It's Nitya here. Yeah, Nitya. I know you love the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is doing a lot of things in your life. So, Nitya, it's your yes. turn now. Um, listening to all these testimonies, I couldn't hold myself. And then what you said, I was like, it, no, it's my turn. I have to get in. I was actually on YouTube, but I had to get back here. Um, so all praise and glory to God because He is your personal savior. He is, he, you know, He's my personal savior. He just talks to me every single day, and I want to say how much this prayer group has helped me get through in life, from where I was to where I am right now. Um, I really think Spirit is truly present and active in in this prayer group. 
if you remember Vivek when we spoke in December last year and yes. you said to me that the calling for me is ministry and you said not hundred but a thousand percent write it down and at that time I had no idea what I mean how or why or when or I was like what are you saying is that even possible I couldn't even think about that but then um I started to pray and um and what's happened now is my family, I have a very big family in India and everywhere around the world, a very big family. You know, we could be nearly 100 people, I think, in our family. And um, so one day I was praying with an aunt of mine and then she said something, she told somebody and it just went on like that. And then we have a prayer group now oh, within God. our family. And every yes. Wednesday we oh. come together and we not only pray, I've been praying for many people for many causes, and the spirit is so alive. He tells me exactly how to pray and what to tell them. But the most exciting part was, so we've started this six weeks ago where I actually teach them the word of God wow, every Christ day. God. And it goes on for an hour and a bit. And the way yes. it works is, you know, it's so beautiful because we did one this Wednesday and I was empty. I'd, I'd completely emptied myself. And I said, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to teach next week. I, I, I don't know. And he puts this in my heart and he downloads this. It's like a data download. And I'm like, Lord, Lord, Lord. And he gives me all of these things I have to say. I only want to share a couple of things tonight because these things I, um, you know, it's truly considered because... Yeah, these things he just reveals to me and it is so beautiful because on Wednesday I was teaching them. We did a series and then uh, we did promises of God and then God's children and then he said promises and then he said, what do we need to do to keep so obedience? And last week I was talking about, you know, disobedience to God and how, uh, talking about the characters in the Bible who were disobedient to God. And a couple of these things he revealed to me was, you know, one is Lot's wife. If people know the story about Lot and how the angels came there and then they had to flee and they, are, and they went to this little town. And on the way, as they were fleeing, the wife will turn back and look. And I was, as I was meditating on that, and I said, Lord, what am I going to say about this? And he said, so beautifully, he said, you know, um, when the Lord has forgiven you, he's forgiven your past, he's washed your sins. There is no need for you to turn back and keep looking at your past. It is forgiven and forgotten. Yes. And in that one minute, he's so beautifully. And I said to people, see, when we look at this verse, we don't think much of it. But do not look back at your past. Do not look back wherever you're from, whatever your situation is. God today is healing you completely. He's setting you free. And things like that. There's so many verses. I don't know. We might not have time, but. So many things like that he reveals to me. And, you know, even in, in the Garden of Eden, the first sin when they ate the fruit and he said, you will surely die. And we look at it and thinking, obviously, we, you know, we don't just die for disobeying him more. But and I said, Lord, how how does that apply to us? Because I wanted to be very practical for people to use it. And he said to me, you know, he revealed to me that what he means there is like you die of the spirit. The spirit in you, you know, you start losing to recognize the spirit of God in you and you keep disobeying him. And that's what that was about. And so many scriptures, verses, and when Jonah disobeyed him and he was trying to run away. And when did he pray? When he was in the belly of the fish. And what does it mean that when we are in the midst of our trouble and our agony, we cry out to the Lord and he will hear you. Yes. He will redeem you from that. Things like that. And then I've been, we've been doing this for a few weeks. And um, people have truly been blessed and they're so excited to come and they, we've, you know, and, you yeah, know, really, really um, the Holy Spirit, I, um, it's a wonderful journey to walk with him. It is just, it is the most beautiful life we all have and we are in the Please Holy Spirit. So, I, um, I also want to ask you a question uh, since, you know, you attend the morning praying in tongues. Uh, yes, so I was going to add that. Uh, yes. He does a great job because I want people to realize yes. how powerful that session yes. is. Uh, people no, should I come wanted for to say. Yes. Can you say something I, about that? Yes, I was going to say, actually, my only, the reason I'm saying this testimony is to talk about that because I, um, no disrespect to you or to anything that you know, anything like, that, but no, sometimes please, I miss your thing. preaching. Sometimes I do because Friday nights so, and I come back. But for me, the morning prayer, not only Russell, but uh, Sister Shanine, um, she is my mouthpiece from God. 
because I'll tell you the other day I was praying for my for one of them for eyesight and I, the next morning um, it's exactly what she would say and every time every time in that prayer group God is so personal he is so personal that um, and I, m- most of my prayer, the, if you hear me pray, the way I pray, the, you know, is very much based on Brother Russell. I told him this last time when I met him. Um, I've, it's just coming to me. It's become a part of me. It's, it's just absorbed in me. Not that I try to imitate or anything, but his prayer, you learn the Bible. It's like a, it's like a quick uh, Bible study in the morning and the verses he uses and the way he elaborates he is truly blessed he's filled with the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is probably brimming over him (laughs) and he's uh, definitely using so I highly highly recommend anything those 30 minutes of your day giving to God he will bless you abundantly he will direct your path he will Bring everything on order in your life, every single thing, married life, anything, those 30 minutes dedicated to the Lord. If you can't make it because of your time, um, when I miss it, I come back during the day and I listen to it. I listen to it and you will hear, I, I, I can go on about that morning prayer because it is truly life-changing and you have to experience it to believe because you have to taste and see that the Lord is good. So um, yes, I, for me, life has changed since I've started um, I'm a, I'm a, yes, I'm a good Catholic. I go to mass, everything, it all helps. Um, this has given me um, a boost and edge because it's a daily communion with him. So um, from my personal experience, um, testimony, everything, yes, definitely 100%, 1000%, like you say. Um, one, and and yeah. your Bible teachings as well. It's the two most influential things in my life right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All yeah. glory to our Lord Jesus. We, yes. me and Brother Russell and all of us work for the glory of yes. God. Yes. Yes. That, that's that's our give back. And we all are called to be preachers of God's word. So exactly. what you're doing is exactly what, you know, I told you, you do. You <laughs> preach and do exactly what we are doing. And, you know, you start your ministry that way. God's ministry yes. is about preaching his word. Yes. Now, the, the thing is, uh, yes, God, it is God um, who's working, but we have to open ourselves is what I'm trying to tell people. When they come to this prayer group, they understand what it is and what an influence you can be when God, if you allow God to use you, how mightily he will use you. And yes. um, and joining the prayer group, the morning prayer is just that trigger, that spark that sets the fire, fire ablaze. So, yes. Praise yes. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you. Praise thank you, thank the you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Can we have some few more testimonies before we start? There are a few people who would like to thank God. I don't want to miss out on any testimony because remember, giving glory to God is very important. It could be one healing in your life. It could be a, a, a problem that the devil is bringing in your life. But because of your testimony, that, that blessing will take the devil away from there. They cannot be an evil force that can come next to you because remember, they overcame Satan by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So even if he's planning something against you or your family, the testimony will blow him away. And take him away from where you are. This is your stand up to God and thank him. So please, if the Lord is speaking to you, the Holy Spirit is saying, speak up. Just say, just speak up and say, thank you, Lord. Even, even that is powerful. Let the blood of Jesus be upon you and your family. Amen. Brother? Yeah, yeah, Monica. Yeah. Praise Lord. I had a testimony yesterday. Um, I wanted to, I morning when I get up, I usually pray, Lord, let your will be done and uh, let whatever you, you use me for your kingdom and uh, you use because sometimes it might not happen with me like the way I, uh, I always like a human nature might make a lot of mistakes and uh, tend to have a lot of, you know, human tendency. Many things are there which we generally, it is only possible with God, not with us. So sometimes I always keep on telling Lord, I know I might make mistake. I might, you know, some relations might be spoiled or something like that. But Lord, you take care of everything and guide me, guard me, protect me, and my words to be protected and all. And yesterday, my sister had to just tell me that, you know, I she didn't tell me. I got a message from somebody that she got a, bought a new flat. And uh, like, I was hurt. Like, the, being my own sister, she didn't, you know, speak to me about it. I got the message from somebody. So, uh, human a tendency to give it back, you know, sometimes like you feel like, uh, why did you, you know, to argue on something? But uh, 
I don't know because maybe the prayer what I would say in the morning, which says, "God, you guide me, you protect me, you help me, and let your will be done." That words have really helped me. And suddenly, I started, you know, instead of arguing with her, I started uh, blessing her house. I said, "Now I'm going to pray over your house." I was, and she was like, she got scared. I mean, she got scared even to talk to me about it. Like she felt like you know, I might get hurt or I might argue on that point. But no. I mean, God really blessed. And I said, I told, I spoke to my husband. I said, what I was doing, I was, I praying to her, for her house and blessing her family. Is this God really wanted me to do that? And it was just a blessing which coming out from my mouth, but not a word. And she also was like quite comfortable to talk to me. This is all because of the spirit of God is with us. It Amen. is not possible with the human yes, nature. Absolutely, that's the Holy Spirit. It's only this I wanted to say. I said it is when you say that let Lord let your will be done, let the Lord be glorified in every way, and it yes. happens. You know my yes. and I got a, I bought a I got a new gifted a new dog. You know puppy in my house, and I was just trying to pray because I am not an animal lover. So I was saying Lord, if it's your will, if He's come entered my house, then give me the grace to love Him and understand Him more. Because it is all your creation. Yes. I don't know. And from the very first day, the the puppy was you know, became so friendly and so loving. So all friends to my God in everything. Thank yes. you, Jesus, for all Definitely. the things. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. Anyone else, please? Anyone else? Uh, Brother Vivek, I would yeah. just want to give a small uh, testimony. Uh, in fact, when is the big, one, when is the big one coming, Tanaka? We are waiting for the biggest one to come. <laughs> <laughs> it will uh, come. I've already, I already said it. I've pro prophesied it, and I'm, I've, I have seen it. Okay, so it's, it's, it's on the way. Amen. Yeah. Yes, brother. Amen. I just want to say thank you to our Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit for using you, brother Russell, sister Shanine, as His true instruments for breaking His word to all of us who are in the group can take away something related to our life there are teachings from brothers from brother russell's morning sessions to your word that you share in the day uh, last time in your session you said to you know read the proverbs so i've we've been doing that one chapter a day wow, i've also been maintaining a, a gratitude journal a thank you journal so that's so beautiful. Huh? That's very beautiful. I mean, before you go ahead, a gratitude journal is a blessing. If someone is doing it, I mean, it's a total blessing because the moment you get into a gratitude journal, you'll have the joy of God in your life because you only see what good things God is doing for you. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Anaka, for that. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, because that is exactly what I can see because I'm giving him thanks even in the least of things and which I, which I would have ideally turned a blind eye to but I now realize the importance of it and I realize how great our God is that he's working wonders in our lives which we tend to disregard amidst our issues in life but this has helped me to go down to my basics and value life more um, even the proverbs it, like everything speaks to me there's there's one like a takeaway word that I take from brothers Russell's uh, morning session to your uh, word that you share on the group, to everything that I come across, there's something that God is always speaking to us. So all glory and thanks to him that, you know, he's always yes. there. He's always talking to us. We only need to open our eyes, open our ears and listen to him. So it's yes. all glory and praise to thanks and to our loving God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Tanaka. God bless you and your ministry of bringing Christ to others. Amen. Hello. Hello, Brother Vivek. Yeah, Madhu. I'm Madhu Pradeshi. Yeah. Yes, uh, Brother, currently, you know, I'm praying for at least uh, six, seven people for their healings. And uh, oh. what God has given me is all of them, they are not able to walk. And uh, so uh, whatever means, uh, teachings we get from Brother Johnson regarding the prayers yes. of vertebra yes. and spe speaking upon them, and uh, they are improving. A little by little, like not a, a total improvement as yet, but God is helping them to do some actions for walking, they're able to stand or uh, keeping their one step and all those 
things. So all the patients which God has given me are those who are not able to walk. So uh, I'm thankful to Jesus that he's using me in such a way. Amen. And Amen. Uh, I want the more anointing for that, that when I pray, that uh, that uh, person must you know get a, a healing uh, quickly like that yeah. is my intention like my so, desire Madhu, so see there is a spirit of healing okay it's 1 corinthians chapter 12 there's a special gift from the holy spirit it's called the spirit of you know it's a gift of healing okay so that's yeah. the gift that you pray for okay and remember okay. one thing more than just people getting healed healing physically will only you know it's like giving someone something to eat okay Next day, again, they'll come back to for food, okay? Teach uh -huh. them how to fish, okay? That's what Brother Johnson always teaches. He does not want you to fish, but teach you how to fish. So see, see, see that you talk to the people you're praying for and bring Jesus Christ alive. Talk about who Jesus is to you, your testimony, so that the faith in them starts changing. Because once the faith in them changes, they will have the healing themselves. Because you're praying for a person is good. But what if they are renewed by God's word? Imagine the healing in their life. Now, not yes. only are they blessed physically, but spiritually as well, because now they have the Holy Spirit with them. Yes. Okay. So sit yes, with them, sir. talk to them about Jesus, make time yes. to talk. Because before what I do, whenever someone comes and say, pray for me, the first thing is to renew their mind. Who is Jesus? Whether Jesus can heal them. First, they have to believe that Jesus can do the job. Otherwise, what will happen if there is no, there is unbelief. So remove the unbelief from them and they will get healed straight away because God's word is, uh, is alive and active. Yes, but yes. just just do that. So you'll see mighty miracles when you speak to them and renew their mind first and then say the prayer of healing. Because that is where, you know, things can change. Okay? Amor, I want to join your WhatsApp group. Which yeah, so, uh, yeah Russell, uh, Russell will send the link so that you can join. Okay? Praise God. Yes. And whoever wants to join can join because we have daily reflections. I hope if, if you all are being blessed, please put an amen there for your own blessing, that the reflections are helping your life uh, every morning that I share. So if someone is being blessed, put an amen there so that maybe we give glory to God that these reflections are definitely helping you okay, in your daily life. Okay, praise God. Thank you. Yeah, Madhu, you'll get the link. So just click on it, okay? And join. Yes, Hi, brother. Good evening. It's Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. Go ahead. I want to testify today, brother. I got Psalm 33. 33 3 which is be still before the Lord and wait patiently on him and I just want to say that today is the day I want to say that the Lord's word stands no matter what happens in your life it is living it is active it is sharp and no matter what you're going through no matter what you see around you what what you go through the people the things, the situations, heaven and earth will pass, but the word of God has always delivered its promise. Jesus has always stood for his promises. He's always come through for us. And week after week, I just see myself fighting the enemy in my head, in my, um, you know, workplace and whatnot. But I know that if I speak the word, that every day will complete the way the Lord has brought it through successfully, beautifully. And of course, when we're also tired, we feel like that. But through all that, I think the word of God has only proven to be more than a miracle. And I have no words to explain how important it is to spend time with the word, journal it, meditate on it. And like you say, keep on chewing on that till you you know, he puts those those thoughts in your mind and your heart and you're going along with it. You cannot see anything but that light. You cannot follow anything. He's just the lamp that you're following every mm. single day. He's lighting up that lamp. He's keeping it going. He's putting the oil in there and all you have to do is stay faithful and keep going, keep walking, keep taking your family with you, keep keeping people in your prayers and yes. keep waiting on him. So I just want to say this is so beautiful. Praise God. And I couldn't recommend higher than this that everybody follow that word with all yes. their seriosity and you know just just chew on it, meditate on it, and you will see how beautiful life will get. It will mm. just it will just feel like the whole. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 
I thank God very much. I feel so grateful today and the Holy Spirit is my advocate and I testify that with great gladness that Jesus is my everything. I thank you so much, Lord, for this whole beautiful week that has gone by. I've not been very well, but I feel at my best by the end of this evening. Amen. I always and all praise and glory to my Lord Jesus. Thank you, brother, for everything you do. And what does the, the word say? What does the week say? The week say, I am? Strong. Yeah, so you are strong in the Lord. You should say, Lord, I am strong in the Lord and in your might. This is Thank your you, body. Jesus. This is your blood. You know, Sharon, when you reach a level where Jesus Christ becomes everything in your life, everything more than your spouse, more than your children, more than your work, more than your breath, when Jesus Christ becomes everything to you, that's when the Holy Spirit has made truly renewed you to that level of understanding that you are nothing without Jesus. Okay, John 15.5. This is that Amen. level which you reach where the word alone starts taking control of your life. Amen. Okay? And that's why, that's why one day I shared this prayer, Lord, take all of me and give me all of you. If you think a scripture once, I'm sharing this with you all again. If you take one scripture for the day and during your whole work day, just, just keep thinking that scripture, like how the devil brings thoughts in your head. You decide to think that scripture and keep on saying, if you are praying for a healing, you say, by the stripes and wounds of Jesus, I'm completely healed of whatever you're praying for from the morning. Or you could just say, Jesus, take all of me, give me all of you. Okay, till I'm fully consumed by you Amen. from morning to evening. And then you realize the love of God inside you and you realize that you're totally transformed. And things are changing. Now, this is that level which you reach where you realize that you're cut off from this world and you're, you're meant only to serve God. Amen. Thank you, so Jesus. that is a beautiful level that you reach of prayer. So you, we all have to do the searching. None of us can, um, none of can say, I found God. It's, it's, you know, it's an, it's an every day, 24-7, because we have a temple within us. The Holy Spirit prays within us all the time. So we should be continuously praising and worshiping God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Thanks you. for that testimony. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. Yeah. Praise God. Okay. Anyone quickly or else I'll start because I know we're going to be I, I want to say, uh, Brother Vivek, yeah, sure, a very quick one. I have started praying in tongues. What the meaning is, how it is done, I have no idea, but I just started it. So... I just pray and I thank God that I have started something which I thought I would not be able to. That's all I had to say. Thank you, Jesus. Things things will improve. Praise God. I, starting, nobody understands, but it soon will understand many more things. The Lord will reveal many more things to you, Shilpa, as you go. Thank you, Jesus, for Shilpa and her ministry of bringing Christ to others. Amen. 